emotional trauma something we all struggle with each day each year all throughout our lives it is something which is very traumatic it is something which is very painful and sometimes it is very difficult to let go of this trauma if we talk about trauma there are traumas of so many different kinds so many different perspectives trauma is one word but it covers a thousand feelings so we'll heal one of these traumas today right now i feel we can start with the basic trauma the basic wound the healing of the mother wound or the mother trauma before we start the meditation as always i would like to thank you for joining me and i would thank you for subscribing to my channel sharing my channel sharing my work because as you have been benefited it can benefit others also so don't hesitate to share with whoever needs it so thank you again dear ones for joining me for this profound meditation all through our different lifetimes all the different timelines we have come down from because as you know we humans come to earth multiple times endless times till we have mastered a lesson still we have learned everything that we are supposed to learn and in order to learn in order to grow on a soul path we have to come down to earth many times and in this different reincarnations we have experienced different issues different problems different pains everything that we need to master for our soul to grow one of the deepest wounds that we experiment with is the mother wound what is this mother wound we say we have a mother wound when maybe we have lost a mother just after birth or when we were very small we say we have the mother wound when maybe our mothers have rejected us abandoned us given us away to the orphanages we say we have a mother wound when a mother has left us and gone away somewhere we do not know where there can be multiple reasons for this mother wound and this mother wound can also be even if you are living with your mother so come let us heal this deep wound connecting to ourselves at very deep levels before we start i would request you to center yourself by breathing in to your heart center and breathing out take long slow deep breaths centering yourself in your heart center with each breath you're breathing in the golden light of the creator and with each out breath you're releasing 
whatever is not serving you breathing in the energy of the creator breathing out the stress breathing out the anxiety breathing out the pain slowly and softly coming back to yourself centering yourself centering yourself centering yourself you're breathing in and you're breathing out long slow deep breaths each breath taking you deeper into your subconscious deeper into your soul deeper into the inner realms inside you deeper into your cellular memories and as you are breathing in you are breathing in the golden light of the creator and as you are breathing out you are breathing out all your stroke stress anxiety pain negativity and slowly and softly you're relaxing and relaxing and relaxing and centering yourself you are totally and completely relaxed you're totally and completely centered and your whole body is filled with the golden light of the creator there is only you and the energy of the creator flowing through you complete stillness complete stillness fills your being in and out you are in total and complete silence looking deep into your psyche looking deep into your subconscious trying to find the roots of the swoon it may have been many dimensions it may have been different time and place where you lost your mother to sickness to death to torture to abuse whatever was the root cause you lost your mother and you were left alone lonely as a child it was a very traumatic very painful time in your life you had no connection with the world because you had no connection with your mother it is through the mother that we learn to connect to the world it is through the mother that we learn to love the world it is through the mother that we come to learn to understand the world but during those days of your childhood when the mother is the root map to the universe you are left alone lost and lonely painful and traumatic missing the main caregiver of your life it was intense pain it was intense loneliness it was a feeling of being abandoned a feeling of being left alone rejected traumatized as you did not have anyone to relate to as a mother it was lost lonely days filled with pain as you saw everyone around you with their mothers you saw them taking care of the child you saw the child running to the mother asking the mother for love for things and here were you lost and lonely maybe petted once in a while by a grandparent or by the father 
but most of the time ignored yes maybe your needs were met your physical needs of food your needs of clothing but the emotional need of a mother was a big vacuum in your life every moment every day was a trauma shoveling through life without the mother behind you to guide you to love you to nurture you the pain has remained in your psyche the trauma has remained in your psyche the hopelessness the loneliness has remained in your psyche you are alone with no one to take care of you that is the message your soul got when you were walking through life without your mother for some of you you had a mother a so called mother but who was so deeply busy in their own life maybe it was pleasing your father and your grandparents maybe it was pleasing the world by doing her duties maybe it was alcohol maybe it was drugs whatever it was your mother was not there for you your mother did not have any time for you your mother did not sit with you did not talk to you did not nurture you most of the time she was very angry whenever you found a little excuse to go to her and she shunned you and she pushed you aside creating deeper pain inside your being pains of rejection pains of not being wanted pain of not being important to your mother a deep wound was created in your psyche a real deep wound some of the mothers were more toxic they beat you up they put you inside a room and locked the door some mothers hung the children from the balcony every one of these mothers who were torturous abusive created a deep wound in your psyche each one of us through the different times we have traveled through the different incarnations has suffered this wound of rejection from the mother of abuse from the mother of torture from the mother we have been sold out by the mother we have been abandoned by the mother we have been discriminated by the mother maybe you are a girl child and they were more busy looking after their male child and ignored you did not give you proper food proper clothing proper attention proper schooling because you were a girl child all these years of pain is still in your psyche still in your cellular memories Now all you can understand is and remember is the pain the deep pain that is tearing your guts out that is making you howl and cry and weep and be silent understanding there is no one to understand you no one to care for you no one to understand your pain and your hurt burst with pain with trauma with sadness with hopelessness with rejection you are traumatized you are terrified to live this earth alone without a mother you see and read the fairy tales and it gives you more sadness more loneliness more pain as you realize 
the mother who is depicted there is not for you. You relate to Cinderella. You relate to Snow White because they didn't have mothers. They were lost, they were lonely, like you. It is a painful journey that we have been through. And this pain has really created a trauma in our being, a trauma in our psyche, a deep pain in our psyche, a pain which is making each day more traumatic as we cannot forget the pain, as we cannot forget the loneliness, as we cannot forget the trauma, as we cannot forget the rejection given to us by our mothers by our birth mothers, by our stepmothers, by our mother figures. All the pain, all the loneliness is deep inside us. And we are helpless and we are hopeless walking through life, not understanding how to deal with this pain. Come, let us call all our guides all our teams of life, the Divine Father God and the Mother God, the original source energy, the goddesses of love, the goddesses of nurturing. We invite them all and we ask them, especially Mother Quinine, Mother Green Tara, Mother Golden Tara, Mother Mary, to nurture us, to hug us, to fill us with their divine love and their divine life as they make us understand that we are always divinely loved, we are always divinely honored, we are always divinely nurtured. And Mother Quinan places a green crystal, Mother Mary places a red crystal inside your heart. Mother Golden Tara places a beautiful pink crystal inside your heart and all these crystals start to work on you, start to work on you, start to work on you, releasing your pain from the centuries, from the timelines, from the dimensions. The pain of not having a loving mother Pain of not having time spent with your mother. Pain of not being nurtured by the mother. The loneliness, the sadness, the pain is no longer in your being. As these divine mothers are working on you, release this pain, release this pain, drama, release this depression, release this hopelessness, release this feeling of not being loved. The Divine Mother hugs you and with a hug you release centuries of pain, you release centuries of trauma, you release centuries of rejection and your heart fills with love, your heart fills with joy, your heart fills with nurturing as you realize it is not the human mother who is looking after us but the Divine Mother, the Mother from which we have all been born and so we merge into her, we merge into her greatness, we merge into her expansiveness, we merge into her love and we realize that it is this Divine Mother who is going to nurture us, who is going to love us, who is going to honor us, who is going to be with us through times and times and times all dimensions of time and space. So this step forward and bow down before the Divine Mother as she sends her divine love into our being, as she gives us a deep hug, telling us, you're always nurtured, my child. You're always wanted, my child. Always loved, my child. You're very important to me. You are very, very important to me. Never think that you are not important. Never think that you are not loved. Because your mother is not with you. 
I am there the eternal mother the divine mother the ma adi para shakti I am always there to nurture you I am always there to love you and me and my different forms are there to take care of you to hold you in the bosom and to love you to nurture you and to take you to the heights of love and blessing you with every moment of the day every timeline you are being blessed you are being blessed you are being blessed receive my love dear ones receive my love you fill your hearts with this divine love fill your hearts with this divine promise that you are always loved that you are always nurtured that you are always honored let this divine energy is coming from me fill your being taking away every pain taking away every trauma taking away everything which is not for your highest best surrender to me divine one surrender to me little one surrender to me understand the divine energies are always there for you loving you nurturing you taking care for of you you are important little one you are very 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 important let the pain that you have fostered in your heart for centuries now leave your being as you understand that you are loved you are honored you are wanted and you are very very important to me the divine mother Let us now sit together and forgive all those mothers of all those lifetimes who have tortured you, who have tormented you, who have abandoned you, who have not taken care of you, who have shunned you, who have discriminated against you, who have died leaving you behind. Let us forgive all those mothers through timelines, through dimensions of time and space, who have not been able to take care of you who have not nurtured you who have not loved you and as this divine forgiveness fills your being your heart expands and swells with love with joy with gratitude as me the divine mother fills you with my love with my qualities with my blessings and this love this blessings this nurturing of mine will fill your heart every deep corner of your heart which is filled with pain with my love and my love will transform you my love will heal you my love will change your life releasing all the pain all the bitterness all the trauma all the negativity receive my little one receive my love and integrate it into your being receive my love and integrate it into your being receive my love and integrate it into your being lots of love and blessings lots of love and blessings lots of love and blessings may the divine love nurture you heal you fill you with the completeness of joy and love